It is the raw wrap up of Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Beachview, neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA, where you talk WWE Raw and um, wrapping it up, and as you do. With me, as usual, from Pooh, Kipsy, New York, is the only one on the roster for the Wrestling Mayhem Show with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. How you doing? But a hey, hey, Sorg, um, can, can we just talk about Bobby Heenan? <laughs> no, minutes. unfortunately, this is not that show. But 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 can it be? Can it be? <laughs> can, can we can we say what Bobby Heenan would have thought of Raw? Uh, okay, I think I well um okay okay what would what Bobby <laughs> Heenan have thought of Raw? I think he would have thought that it would have been better if it was the Bobby Heenan show. <laughs> is the Bobby Heenan show on the network? Because. <laughs> I wondered that. I went back and watched his special, and I was kind of curious. Oh, sorry. I kind of wrote a thing. What's that again? I, I say it's not on the network, but it's on his DVD. Oh, it is on his DVD. Okay. I just watched the documentary from yeah, the it's DVD. On, it's, yeah, it's, it's on his DVD. I, I want, That was one of the DVDs I had to buy because mm-hmm. I'm like, it's Bobby Heenan. I have to buy it. But yeah, the Bobby Heenan show is on the documentary. Definitely on the DVD. It's it's very great. Definitely worthwhile. Uh, well, uh, Raw tonight, uh, I thought was well, it was a Raw, and I I I feel like wait, this is where I pay, play. I bet I know what Mike is going to think of this Raw. Uh, and I'm pretty sure Mike thinks that this Raw was a very substandard Raw for go home to uh, a a, a pay per view. Is that correct, Mike? Um, especially since one of the guys who were supposed to be like. Sorg, we have two huge main events, okay? Two mm-hmm. huge main events on Sunday, right? Huge main events. N- huge main events. Only one of those guys in the main in the two main events had physicality in the ring tonight. Mm-hmm. One guy wasn't even there, and none of them had matches. Yeah, well, we're having like five minute packages and and uh, satellite remote interviews with everybody. That's it. Just felt or a little when bit we're too watching, desired. When we're watching a John Cena promo from 2012, yeah, they have run out of ideas. And be and Roman, you cannot say the John Cena quote. I'll see you next week, movie star. When a Next week, John Cena might not even be on Raw. Mm-hmm. Two, last week, you said he wasn't a movie star. And six, you'll see him before next week, jerkass. Whatever whatever you thought of uh, the the Rock and, and Cena thing, you know, it was at least consistent, right? Yep. And it was it was it was consistent. And it was carried on both sides. Mm-hmm. Roman Reigns cannot do that promo by himself. No. Like, and what's up with the random Alex Riley shout out? <laughs> well, who's got the heat on Alex Riley these days? Did he do something? I, I mean, I guess Roman saying that Alex Riley got buried because he looked too much like John Cena. Yeah, well, yeah, he made a really interesting, like, hey, you know, if I was a a close haircut white guy, I might have a problem here. It just seemed like it it, it just seemed out of nowhere for us. And and Roman, Roman, uh, here's a tip. If you were a close haircut white guy who was also still related to The Rock, you'd be fine. All right. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, kind of kind be fine. Uh, we had tag team wrestling. I I, I gotta say, uh, one of my favorite moments of the uh, night was uh, Dean Ambrose flipping out and being called a nerd. Yeah. Um. I, okay. I I I I don't know what we're doing with tag teams anymore. No, I no. don't know what we're doing because. We have two tag teams that, let's face it, still are not really tag teams. Mm-hmm. Ambrose and Rollins aren't really a tag team. They're they're two thirds of a whole, right? 
Sheamus and Cesaro were a makeshift tag team because they didn't want to push either of those guys individually. And the club are fill-ins for the revival? I don't know. Like, <laughs> uh, Yeah, I guess they could be a little bit. Yeah, I kind of, you know... It, it, but the no no still the, I thought I thought they had a lot of fun with that match too. Um, it was I mean it was a, it was a good long match but my God was it long. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I say a lot of promo, a lot of a lot of production tonight. So there there's that tonight. Um, it, it was not you know it was not a high end wrestling raw I, I, at least until the end. We're I thought we. Booking, uh, mm-hmm. We're still booking a lot of things for No Mercy on this raw. And mm-hmm. we've had a while since SummerSlam. Yeah. It makes you think they almost didn't know what the fuck they were doing outside of these two main events. It is, yeah, definitely. It, it was it was questionable. Um and, and you're right. It, it it feels like like you know, we were having a con- the 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 conversation uh over the weekend. I was like, you know, we went from oh, there's a pay-per-view this weekend to when the hell's the next pay-per-view? Yep. Like real quick. Mhm. Uh, uh, yeah, and, and not to mention now we're going to get like Hell in a Cell right after um, No Mercy too, which is just ridiculous. It feels like it's going to be like, nonstop. Have... It's going it's going to be nonstop like through the end of the year. Yeah, and especially now that they announced Starcade too. Yay! Which... which is a Saturday show. Whatever they're going to do with yeah, that. Yeah, it's Saturday after Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. So they called it something special because they were afraid it wouldn't sell out. I'm just so happy none of the indies that I work with are are that night to compete with. <laughs> that's, even even that's as a fair as point. it I is, won't be able to watch it because as it is, I was so I'll, happy I'll, seeing I'll be, I'll be. seeing some dates for 2018 where um where 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 they didn't seem to be over the SummerSlam takeover dates, uh, or anything like oh, that. That's so good. yeah, uh, that's good. But anyways. Other than that, um, yeah. geez, what else was there to poke at? That's we had a six packs challenge. You know what I want? Go you ahead. You know what I want to see on Raw tonight, Storg? Hmm. Do you know what I want? I wanted to see um, when Bailey came out for reasons, I guess, because they're in her hometown. When she like grabbed Sasha in that big hug, mm-hmm. I wanted her to just Bailey the Bailey to belly the fuck out of Sasha. There was a lot of that. Like this would have been a great spot for a hill turn comments I saw like, on Twitter. Like when they when they were jumping and hugging, I'm like, okay, Bailey, turn now. Turn now. <laughs> like just for the fuck of it. Because we need to do something. Mm-hmm. We need to do something. Like, you could have had this happen. You could have had Bailey Bailey Belly Sasha and say, You took my tight opportunity we're supposed to be friends like and you can have bailey be the naivete thing like you weren't there for me when i was injured matter of fact you tried to take my spot Mm -hmm. like and she just gets added to the five-way the now five-way match for whatever reason like uh, I don't know. I I, I need to see what the story is out of it, but but right now it, it it feels like stuff seems just thrown together. Hey, let's throw six guys in a in a six packs challenge and 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 have just get Jason Jordan to the inevitability of of, of his intercontinental title match, things like that, right? Oh God, yeah. And uh, Sorg, I I have a question. Have you seen anyone go from so over in NXT to? totally not over worse than jason jordan no no absolutely not because like even fandango when he first came up like people were doing the fandango like tyler breeze was kind of over in nxt Mm -hmm. uh, but was kind of over on main roster before all the fashion police stuff but jason jordan just has not translated at all no and plus they changed everything yeah like i don't see any like you know, obviously they think that, that, that you know he's in a better spot now because of this or something. But um, just let American Alpha ride. Why not? It was working so well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. They they just don't know how to book tag teams anymore. 
I in, in continuing, we we talked about last week about the gold dust situation, and now Dustin Rhodes can't, comes out this week. Um, I this and continues, so and this continues to be the most interesting part of this this feud with Finn Balor. Um, and then Finn, great promo after with Finn. I thought talking about the paint and this kind of inner demon. Yeah, but like, uh, see, here's. Uh, We've only had two matches with the demon. Right? Like how he he's had more wins on pay-per-view as non-demon than as demon. Okay. This shouldn't be the story at all. You, like you you're saying he has no reason to have to prove himself no, as non-demon. Yeah, there's no lore of this yet. Mm-hmm. It's not like he's Super Cena or some or Big Match John mm-hmm. or Undertaker at WrestleMania. Like he's had two matches in the Demon Paint. Mm-hmm. Like I, I don't know. It just seems it's like I don't know. It's it's like, Sorg, it's like if we, it's like if we had a hundred arm wrestling matches, okay? <laughs> and the only and, and, times and, I won was And you've winning. been working out, I wanna point out. Well I I mean I, I don't like the brag. But you know, and let's say two of those arm wrestling matches you won using your opposite hand. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then it's me saying, Well, I need to see you win without using that. But keep in mind, I've won every other match with you using your your regular hand. Isn't that exactly like, how they book wrestling sometimes, though? It is, but it doesn't make it not fucking stupid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, other than that, well, uh, we got Enzo got beat up by uh, Braun. Still, they did something there. Braun is still... Braun and Miz are still the biggest faces on the show. Can, can I say? Can I say though? It was pretty glorious to see uh, Corey Graves just laughing his ass off at Enzo getting beat up. <laughs> That's because Corey Graves is all of us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Corey Graves is all of us, and and honestly, like, why? What, what are we even doing? Like, why are we having Neville? Try and rip the mask of Grand Metalik. That seems so random. It, why are we doing this? Like, like Neville's not in a feud with a luchador. Mm-hmm. We already know he's a heel. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously. I, I mean, are they trying to make him seem more heelish for when he goes up against Enzo? Because people are going to be cheering Neville? Guess what? That doesn't matter. People are going to be cheering Neville anyway. Like uh, I don't, I don't know. It's just, it seems like they don't know what they're doing. I I, I sat there watching uh, Raw tonight and found myself just infinitely more interested in what's going to happen on SmackDown tomorrow. Because I, I you know, I felt myself, I felt myself just thinking, I can't wait till Ultima Lucha. <laughs> <laughs> There's that too. All right. Uh, anything else to touch base on? I mean, I think that was about it tonight. There was not much. There wasn't because that that tag team segment went on for three segments. Mm-hmm. It, it is scary because it's going like, to feel like at least that, like if you compare it to maybe SmackDown last last week, it feels like more things happen in two hours. It feels like more things happen in forty minutes sometimes on SmackDown mm-hmm. than happen in three hours on Raw. Like I, there are more things happening. With the name of TNA Wrestling <laughs> than there are on Raw right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how much of Raw tonight was watchable for you, good sir? Uh, we're going back down. Um, I'll mm. say, I'll say maybe an hour fifteen. I mean, I say like two hours was watchable, but like I can't say I got excited about more than a an hour. Oh, you know what we should talk about that was pretty good though. Uh, half of the Braun and Brock interview segment. <laughs> okay. Which half? No, uh, the Braun segment. The mm. Braun part. Like, honestly, I'm not saying I'm done with Paul. I'm saying I've heard it all, Paul. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, 
if Braun Strowman doesn't win this title on Sunday, the, the, I don't. I may stop watching Raw. Like because honestly, it just indicates that they're not taking that belt off of Brock until WrestleMania, and that's going to be a nightmare scenario. Mm-hmm. That's going to be a nightmare scenario. I feel like they broke glass and and uh, uh, and 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 pulled the John Cena Rowan lever as it is, right now. Uh huh. Um, well, I mean, see, Cena's going away to do movies. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. So, so we're we're, we're doing this, uh, which means probably Law Roman wins, right? I mean, which one are you even happy about? Uh, I, I I did ask tonight. What did you? I don't even know who I. I don't even know who I want to win that match. No, nope. like, nope. I. I legitimately don't know. Like, I guess Cena, but at the same time, then it's Lol Cena wins. Mm-hmm. Like, how about Lol Ring Implosion? <laughs> Braun, just, uh, Braun just comes out and kills everybody. I I'd be on board. Mm-hmm. I'd be on board. Or even better, like they both just take turns beating up Enzo. Mm-hmm. I don't know something. Um, I did ask on uh, on the uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group, uh, you know, what did you learn from Raw tonight? Uh, Enzo dead from Bobby F J Town, D D. Uh-huh. Uh, jo- Joseph yep. says uh, never has the burial of an ego not ego maniac. In- <sighs> Jeez, never has the burial of an ego maniacal uh, wrestler been this harsh in the history of the WWE. You want to feel sorry for Enzo, but he brought this all upon himself. I don't even feel sorry for him anymore. No, 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 no. Not really at this um, point. Not after that. No, no. That that promo with Miz last week mm-hmm. torched the bridge and, and salted the earth around the bridge. Like, like if Enzo was a heel, this would all be amazing. Mm-hmm. If Enzo was a heel, this would be fantastic. Enzo would be one of my favorite characters on the show. But he's supposed to be a face. He's supposed to be a face. Just because you have a catchphrase the crowd sings along with doesn't mean you have to be a face. The road, the New Age Outlaws were heels. They pushed Cactus Jack and Chainsaw Charlie off the stage in the dumpster. There's people in there. Like, <laughs> like you're allowed to be a heel with a chantable catchphrase. You're allowed to do that. I don't know why we aren't just doing that. Akira Tozawa should be cruiserweight champion, and Enzo should be the dickhead trying to go after a guy who will kick his face off. Mm-hmm. Well, either way, like, how is that not the story, Mad Mike? How is that not the story here, Mad Mike? We're going to be talking about more positive wrestling tomorrow. I swear. Uh, unfortunately, oh, no, we don't. No, I mean, and, and you know what? I I like the um, Alexa Bliss Nia Jax match tonight. Oh yeah! Oh, absolutely! I like, thought I, that like was, I thought that was a lot of fun. I wish fun... the women had more than one segment. The the the, the well, you throw the entire roster we're talking about in there, at least until uh, you know Oscar uh, uh, gets there. Except for Emma, mm-hmm. because we can't hashtag give Emma a chance. Yeah, weird. Um, other fifth person that's supposed to be in that match. What's yeah, up I with mean, you? They, they showed they showed a tweet from Emma. I'm like, oh, right. Why can't we just give Emma a win over, I don't know, Mickey James mm-hmm. or Alicia Fox? Like, re- remember when the women were getting two segments on Raw, Sorg? Mm-hmm. Do you remember when the cruiserweights were getting two segments on Raw? Yeah, yeah. Those are the days. We're like, what oh, they're it? giving us a chance. We're I, really showing stuff. I seriously, I want the person who's writing the Braun Strowman storylines just to write the rest of Raw. Meanwhile, we get a tweet. Person under- Meanwhile, we get a, a tweet from Arya Davari to check out main event, um, where where his his tag team match is. Mm, poor Arya. Uh, by Arya the way, Davari. I forgot this. Uh, main event is actually available on Hulu, so I can actually watch it. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. Good. Uh, say hi to Kitty Cat Man for me. Yay, Kitty Cat Man. Uh, yeah, because I, I think that's where he is. I think I think he's part of that match too. So yes, absolutely. So there's. <laughs> I was just guessing. <laughs> No, no, I think I, you know, I like Tony Nese and, and, and Ari Davari, and they, they mentioned two other guys. I think Lindsay was part of it. Anyways, uh, Mad Mike, where can people find you? Uh, people can find me at Mad Mike 483 on the Twitter machine. Also go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM for when I live tweet things such as Lucha Underground 
And uh, and stay tuned this week because we'll have the Midweek War. There you go. And check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. All the fan, fine programs we're having over there. Uh, SorgatronMedia.com is where you can find a lot of the programs that we're doing um, otherwise. And uh, everything else. So thank you, everybody, for joining us. Until next time, keep it 